you are going to learn how to restructure drawings and specifically staircases for this particular video. Let's first clearly understand what a staircase means. So, this is a staircase. It's a structural element that provides access between the lower level and higher levels of a building. Staircases are made of a series of rises and landings which are stepped on to enable easy access from one level to another. We shall follow this pattern from the ground floor to the first floor, then from the first floor to the second floor as you continue. This is the second floor. When seen from above, this is staircase 01 starting from near grid line 1.4 to grid line 1.1 and each section 2 starts from near grid line 1.4 to grid line 1.1 here. Staircase 01 is for block A, then for block B. This is staircase 02 that starts from grid line 2.5 here up to here, connecting column C1 and column C1F. So physically, this is column C1 and this is column C1F. According to the drawing, this first landing will be at 1.6 meters from the ground, so this is 1.6 meters here from the ground. The drawing also directs us that this landing will be at 1 meter 595 millimeters from this column C1 and column C1F connecting to this beam here. Physically, it will still be 1 meter 595 millimeters from this column C1 and C1F with this beam here. This part here is this one here, whereas this one here is this one physically on ground. The drawing tells that the beam that connects the landing is 200 millimeters by 400 millimeters depth and physically this is 200 millimeters here and this is 400 millimeters here. These steel bars are supposed to be of H12 code 31 and spacing as 100 millimeters from one steel bar to another center to center. This H12 is the bar thickness therefore our steel bars are of thickness 12 millimeters. This code 31 helps us to know where our steel bars start and end from. For example, these steel bars of code 31 start from here and go up to here. Similarly on ground, they will start from here with their hooks facing up up to here. And these steel bars of code 34 will go up to this landing here and become the top bars for the next landing. This is staircase 02 for block B and this is beam 405 here. This is beam 413. Similarly on ground, this is staircase 02 and this is beam 405 here. This is beam 413. The drawing also details that the rise is 160 millimeters, the going as 280 millimeters and the waist as 225 millimeters. Physically on ground, this is 160 millimeters for the rise. This is 280 millimeters for the going and the waist is 225 millimeters. We use 25 mm spacers everywhere in the staircases and these are the 25 mm spacer blocks which are placed directly under the steel bars in the ramp here and also in the landing to provide the required concrete gauge. This is H16 code 10 spacing as 150 mm here above and here below are bars of H16 code 5 at a spacing of 150 mm center to center and here physically these are the H16 bars of code 10 and these are the H16 bars of code 5. And as I've said before, this H16 is the bar thickness, therefore our steel bars are of 16 mm thickness. This code either 10 or 5 helps us to know where our steel bars start and end from. Then this 150 is the spacing from one steel bar to another, therefore our steel bars are 150 mm center to center from one steel bar to another. This is how we close steel bars in a staircase with two U bars, one facing up and another facing down or in this shape like this one. We place these steel bars inside like this. When I say inside I mean this is the top bar, this is the bottom bar. Separators are inside not on the top or at the bottom. Also note that when a steel bar is a bottom bar along the ramp, it becomes a top bar in the next landing. For example, these steel bars here are bottom bars along the ramp but become top bars in the next landing. Similarly, these are bottom bars here in the landing but become top bars along the ramp. That means that the top bars on this landing will come like this and become bottom bars Bottom bars become top bars in the next landing, whereas top bars along the ramp become bottom bars in the landing. That's the end of this video about how to read the structured drawings for staircases. I hope you get something from it. Watch this next video about how to read the structured drawings for the lift shaft wall and how to build the lift shaft wall.